Okay. So I'm going to get rid of one of these Unleashed Darknesses. In favor of Reload. Draw two, discard two, overcharge one. That's got some wild potential in there. Especially if we can upgrade it. We're not going to be able to upgrade it. Well, alas, it's fine. I might be able to upgrade it, but I'm going to have to go way out of my way to pull it off. All right, let's start with this. Just burn reload. I don't know. Okay. Burn both of these, grab that, draw to the flame. They're pretty weak. Never mind. I think we'll be fine. We can still get rid of the burning. Shit, that's a lot. Ah, that's what happened there. Okay, purge that. Purge that. Cursed Shield. Let's just burn that one. So I want to just hit one. Yeah, I'll do it. It's interesting to hear what's on the other side of the screen as I've been studying interactive digital media. I not really had access to anybody actually doing it. I mean, there's a lot of us technically just sitting around. Doing our thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's start with a sidestep, because we're pretty maxed on energy. Grab this, just burn one of those. I don't care. I'm honestly... Let's just dump a number of these. Just kill that guy. And we're good. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not burning. Being able to get rid of my burn with the Watcher... Or, it's not the Watcher, it's the other one. Purifier Diadem. After purging two cards in one turn, reduce all debuffs by a bunch. It's so nuts. It's so good. Okay. Should probably go for the Pyre, but killing the Pyre mites. Well, I mean, honestly, I guess we might as well just hit the Pyre. It's interesting. I almost actually got into new media. Ooh. Okay, let's reload. Let's get rid of. Let's discard that. And that. Pop this one. Burn the spirit shield. Burn that. Just withered that guy. I'll just hit that one. Oh, right. Might as well get a little bit more corruption here before I go too far. I almost went into my my school's new media program years ago. It was certainly... I say interesting. I guess it was interesting. The weird part is, I guess I ended up working for the guy that ran the program almost immediately afterwards. Alright, pop that. Burn the spirit shield and this cursed shield. Hit him. Let's just start hitting the pyre. Because it's going to keep summoning the pyromites, and they're not the most... Like, I kill them, but it takes a while. Okay, Jewel of the Void. Reload. Burn Swift Darkness. Burn Wither Shield. Pop that. Cursed Shield. Pop that. Get this. Burn a Cursed Shield. Yeah, let's just... Start hitting the pyre instead. Works great for me. I'm definitely going to want to roll a bleed run after this. Just so we can have some faster gameplay. This is sluggish. Okay, he's just going to hit me, but we're not going to be burning anymore. But, you know, years ago, when I went in, when I was going into college, I wasn't really looking into, well, I don't know, 
I was looking at the new media programs being like, yeah, I wonder if any of these are any any good. But like, my entire field didn't exist. There was like a little bit. But for the most part, it was like new media for marketing. Uh, for people that don't know, new media, I mean, it's effectively Flash. It, it was like Flash animation and marketing skills and like web design and a couple other things. Very jack of all tradesy. Probably would have been fantastic if you wanted to become, well, honestly, a YouTuber. I might be able to get the upgrade. All right, let's go here. Enemies brought below 50% HP. Apply weak and vulnerable to them. Ooh. Blade block. A creature gains slow and weak. Gains vulnerable as well. Hmm. Honestly, let's do execution order. Corruption lock. Can no longer gain corruption. Expires at the end of turn. Huh. That's interesting and kind of terrible for me. What does cycle do? For every card, play a draw card. Interesting. So I could use this to go, like, full bammo on something. I don't think that's going to help me. Yeah, none of, none of these really fit my build. Then again, my build is just incredibly just humdrum. I'll take humdrum. But it's very humdrum. Uh, let's see. Unleash. Here we go. Give curse a cursed shield. This one. And then I'm really curious about the upgraded version of Reload. But we'll have to work with that. Okay, Beast of Malice. This is one hell of a long run. But it's mostly because I'm just real slow. Imagine we're about the same age, you're 30. So I had one of those new media courses. Yup, 32. Well, I am 30 as well, not 32 years old. Not that it matters. Ooh, gain for corruption at the end of your turn if you hadn't played any attacks that turn. Well, considering I literally have no attacks in this entire build, hell yeah. Time to generate mad corruption. That's nuts. Bleak con con contract? Contract. Is... Dumb and I love it. Because, yeah, Unleash Darkness does not count as an attack. It's an, it's an ability. Woo! Okay. Pop that one. I'm going to burn that Unleash Darkness. Which, I guess we had a lot of rage. So that would have been okay. Eh. Would have done okay. Oh, but it's not an attack. Rage is pointless to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, last, I should probably switch that out then. Now that I realize that, I should probably just give it one of these stones. Just get a shit ton of overcharge. Well, in that case, let's start with that one. Burn both of these. Hit him with that. Damn! Oh, hit me again. Every point of damage inflicted on the creature increases its hit, hit me again value. Reaches 25, frenzy increases by 1. Ha. Ah. Well, that gives me a couple of options. None of them are great. Screwed that one up a smidge. Ah. Okay, so what can I discard? I'll discard both of those. Give me that. Discard that. Doesn't help me too much. I mean, I guess my overcharge value is perfectly cromulent. So, in that case, that puts me in a bit of an odd spot. Because effectively, I'm going to want to... Well, we could just sit here for a while. Pretty much never hit him. And wait until I'm so goof strong that I can just one shot him. Yeah, 
It's not the worst idea. Like, it's gonna take a little bit. But yeah, Rage Boy meet Turtle Cannon. Exactly. Shit, that was still 30 damn. What? Okay, I think I'm gonna wanna pop this one. We're probably going to have to start hitting him one way or another. I don't think we're going to get much of a choice. I can still keep it rolling for at least a little bit longer. Burn that. Uh, let's get rid of the spirit shield. I don't think I'm going to need it. Yeah, let's just... Let's get up there. Okay, start with the sidestep. Get him with a wither shield. Pop reload. Burn those. That one. Okay, my corruption is looking solid. Ideally, I want to wait until he's very vulnerable, though. Okay. So that's 14. Every fifth card you purge will give you... Nah. I'm gonna pop that one. Get up, get high values. Okay, we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to hit him shortly. Because he, he's speeding up on his own. He scales, he just doesn't scale... well. Okay. Got him. Okay, plan strike, everything else is good. Alright, so we do get an upgrade after this one, then we can get sail straight to victory. And it's the Veiled Watchers again. Looks like they're... Yeah, they're tougher. Good to know that they are tougher. Okay. I mean, honestly, you just pop both of those. Gets me some energy for the next round, and everything else is good. Okay, so these guys get scary when they start cursing me. And I'm pretty sure this is going to give me a bunch of banes. Okay. Y'all need to start dying. Sucks, because I don't scale that fast. Swap out your rage stone. Yeah, I should do that. Okay, let's pop reload. I don't have a whole lot of damage coming in. Burn these. Pop that. Keep hitting that one. And let's manage one of those Banes out. If I, if I can use this to keep the Banes off, that'll help. Luckily, I, we don't get any respawns here. Okay, so they just got stronger, but that's fine. Because my corruption is pretty top tier, and now that I've killed one of them, this gets easier. Okay. 
Well, in retrospect, Jewel of the Void is completely meaningless. Eleven damage rolling in. Let's make one of them crappier. Grab that. Okay. Then start hitting the other one. Luckily, I do a ton of damage. So that in and of itself should offset this. Ooh, good timing. They just went up in fury. Only problem is... There we go. It went up in fury. Now all we have left is this one. I this is I don't think this is a hitless run. Yeah, I absolutely I absolutely took a little bit of damage. Not much though. But yeah, this Ooh, this veiled watcher is going to get spooky cuz yeah, they do 38 damage per round. I'm going to have to kill him. Nope, that's a lot more. Hit him with that. Hit him with everything. There we go. All problems solved. And we get our upgrade. Reload. Draw three, discard three, overcharge one. Sure. Full hand management. So while we were there... I'm going to take out the Void Kiss. That extra corruption early is nice, but I'm going to remove it. At least on that one. Go back to reload. There we go. I'm gonna make it dupe itself. It's free, and that draw discard, uh, draw discard is just amazing. Let's actually equip it. What do I do with the jewel of the void? I don't know on this one because we don't benefit from rage. I guess I'm gonna pull that off. Well, let's just have it so it overcharges the heck out of us. Uh, let's see. Anything else? No, not really feeling it. All right. We get a treasure. All of this is... Ah, we get some upgrade points, though. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so in that case, let's actually upgrade the Unleashed Darknesses. Because now that I'm going to be hand managing, I'm going to want to get rid of them. Pray for greed, which is completely useless to me. Okay, Pinky and the Birth Pit. Gross. Boss gets temporarily buffed when targeted by attacks, so knowing when to back off and focus... On her gradually growing minions is key. These fetid abominations gurgle pus-infused blood from vague from a vague mouth hole. As globules of rancid flesh shake free, their stench alone will defeat most. Uh. Okay. So I'm gonna start with reload, which gets me a shit ton of stuff. Burn that, burn that, burn that. And then we're going to do the exact same. Because every time I discard one of those, that gets me energy. Okay, pop that one. Burn that. Pop that. Alright. So that's 20 corruption on the first round. What are these? In time I grow, every time you draw a card, tick this value up by one. Oh boy. Okay, so they get tougher. The need to survive. Every attack against this creature increases its temporary... Wait, no. Ah, will increase its frenzy by one. It resets after the attack. Every time you draw a card... Okay, so... Interesting. Makes sense. Like the idea of it. Okay, let's... Burn that one. I want some energy here, but I guess that that's fine. Did I burn the other one? Yeah. Nope, we want to 
Get rid of that. How much HP do these things have? 45. We can get to the point where we can just start gibbing the pinkies in one go. Oh, you're right! Laughs and no attacks. That's a super dang good point. Okay. I can do 40 damage. I'll just kill one of the two. Because it doesn't seem like the birth pit cares. It'll just keep resummoning them, but they're garbage, so who cares? Okay, pop this, which really just gets me a bunch of corruption, but that that's fine. Alright, and turn. Yeah, so we're going to be making these pinkies stronger, but since they... Oh... Okay, they just ate that one. It didn't buff the birth pit up, though. Though it does look like the birth pit gets stronger, but that's fine, I get stronger. Honestly, we're right about at the point where I can just start gibbing these guys left and right. Yep, doesn't increase the frenzy at all. Ooh, boy. This is, I am a very interesting hard counter, but I'm also hard countered by quite a lot of different things. And what the hell kind of weird garbage is this? My corruption only grows. And yeah, my bonus energy is insane. Now all I need is some kind of super nuke that just uses all of my energy to just generate madcap amounts of corruption. I haven't seen anything of the sort yet. But if, it, if I somehow got lucky. Alright. Do I... What do I do here? I've got a lot of energy. Honestly... Let's just... Go bananas here. Yeah, let's just get rid of those. I don't have too much of a choice, and I realize this is going to keep buffing the pinkies, but they're zero threat to me. Oh man, something that would double my corruption would be nuts. In time you grow. Indeed you do. But first you die. You spell retaliate. Uh, you know what? Let's go for the upgrade points. Let's beef up both of the Unleashed Darknesses. Alright, release souls. Wasn't too much. Start with a random potion. Uh, let's see. Bunch of overcharge. First two cards played will trigger extra. Alright, I'm feeling Obsidian Golem and this Spider Nest. So let's start with the Golem. So what does corruption do? It's just a number. Uh, what corruption specifically benefits is question. Do I gain? Cor I do gain corruption for sift. That's really helpful. I wish I'd been doing that this entire time. I guess, of course, it would count as a as a corruption, but now I know. Okay, so Corruption is just a number, but it's a number that many cards reference. Uh, I guess on math terms, it would just be X? Oh. I'm hexed. So of triggering, the next card you play will be discarded and not played. Oh, well, that's less of a biggie. I'm just going to burn both of those. Sidestep. Block. Let's get rid of this one. Reload. 
Burn, Unleash Darkness, Wither, Curse Shield. Pop the Jewel of the Void, reload again, and burn everything for Hella Corruption. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here. And just have mad HP. At some point I will fight this guy, but later. I know he gets stronger. <sighs> this is just Exodia. Yeah, but he's missing his legs. It's gonna hurt a bit, ain't it? Never mind, ain't gonna hurt at all. Bam! Okay, I think my corruption's getting getting good enough. Let's actually start fighting. We should probably The interesting thing is the arms aren't actually very strong. They're not hitting much. So I should probably just head for the main body, maybe. Okay, yeah, let's let's just start hitting the main body. He's not that strong, and now that I've slowed him down, it's not bad at all. Oh, I just realized the Obsidian Golem also has uh, the Thanos, the, it's the Gauntlet, the Infinity Stones, there we go, in his right hand. Yellow Void Stone, that's, that's cute, I love that. Let's just get rid of that. Sidestep for some sweet energy. Everything is free. I'm not going to be taking any damage here, so let's drop that, burn that, reload, burn both of the Unleashed Darknesses, Anchor Shield, Jewel of the Void, other reload. Uh, let's see, what does Blood from a Stone do? Creature suffers half damage from Bleed, and it just regens. This guy, I don't think he scales much. Oh, no, 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 he's giving himself one frenzy. Okay, so there, that's his scale. But I'm, like, at this point I'm goofy strong. I do 68 damage per hit. So, presuming I get a bunch of attacks on the next hand or two, I can just wail him to death. And because I slowed him down, he doesn't have a whole lot of frenzy. Okay, not quite there. But I have so much energy that it don't matter. It's Exodia Thanos. It's, I, it's amusing. That's you. So you have enough scale, you could potentially farm infinite void stones on the boss. I could. Not really sure if it would actually help me too much, though. Yeah, we're gonna have to go up to hard mode. I love being an absolute cheese ball, but I think hard mode would actually provide a proper challenge. I, I kind of am liking normal mode. I, maybe we'll do a normal mode run with every single discipline, and then we move up. Just because I'm thoroughly enjoying just stomping right now. But there's definitely that feeling of like, yeah, but I'm... Let's see, there we go. I'm stomping, but... Oh, it's just void spiders. I mean, actually, in retrospect, these guys are terrifying because, holy shit, that damage? Uh, that could be a serious threat to me? M maybe.
Got close to avoiding it all. It turns out Void Spiders are spooky. I think we're gonna have to take a hit and kill them. And then bring a healing potion with me into the next fight. Yeah. In fact... I'm mildly in trouble. Do quite enough damage. Ouch. Well, not gonna lie, I might die here. Hubris is painful. Nope, we're fine. Okay. Up spirit shield. Okay. I think I can pull this off. Yep, we're good. Woo, boy. That could have gone poorly. Let's go down here. Potions. Uh, let's see, we don't need the strength potion. In retrospect, that's pointless. We're just going to chug. Not digging this song too much. It's just a little bit too inconsistent here. Alright, well, let's try and turtle... The only problem is the, the void scales pretty quick. Oh, it's just auto-triggering all the potions going to this fight. Well, shit, that works out great for me. That gives me a lot of, a lot of time to immediately just wail on this guy. All right, let's start with this. Gain some darkness. Op reload. Burn, unleash darkness, unleash darkness. And a cursed shield. Earth shield, spirit shield, other spirit shield. Okay, we want to do wither shield. The longer I can keep weakness and slow on him, the crappier he's going to be. Got both of those. Reload again. Burn that. Okay. So, 25 Corruption on the first round. That's pretty solid. It has a big hand. I'm liking these potions. I I haven't bothered with it up until now, but stacking potions going into a... Going into a boss fight turns out to actually be really good. Do 25 damage. Get some damage up in there. Oh, right. He loses debuffs at double speed. Which is something to keep, I'm gonna say, concerned about.
but it doesn't make him that easy to deal with. Alright, I yeah, I've got more than enough of that. Okay, let's burn a lot of these. I'm just trying to scale as much corruption up as I possibly can. Okay. We'll do 54 damage here. Burn that. Let's actually start hitting him. Because I, I do enough damage that it, it's better that we just go for the raw oomph more than anything else. Okay. Immediately go with this. Hit him with the free stuff. Okay, pop a sidestep. I've got another reload. I might as well do it. We're not going to need the spirit shields here. And pop the final reload. Jewel of the Void for crazy overcharge. Wither shield to continuously make him just not actually that good. Burn that. Grab this. Burn that. And just hit him. Okay. My corruption scaling is solid. Uh, the the hand management is making us into a, a solid little monster. Uh, let's see. Let's burn that cursed shield. I don't need it. Then sidestep. Gets me a spirit shield. Don't care. Wither shield. Burn this. And then we just wail on him. That's some damage. Yeah, we got this. Absolutely in the bag. I'm still kind of worried about this character just in terms of being able to outscale bosses. That's sometimes a bit of a question. Don't need the spirit shield too bad. Because we're going to wither shield here. Let's start with that just for a bit of hand management. Okay, pop that. Sidestep for a little bit of energy. And then just continuously, whoo, we do a lot of damage. Man, I Spirit Shield is kind of the secret, or... Wither Shield is kind of the secret MVP of this one. This boss pretty much just can't deal with the, uh, the amount of slow that I'm throwing the direction. Okay, so we can master a card. Now, some of these... I don't necessarily recognize. Uh, no, I mostly recognize all of them. Anyway, I'm going to go for Spirit Shield. It's good, and if you upgrade it, it's just a solid, like, side block. Yeah, Corruption four, plus 4 per turn, no matter what, because no attacks. It's, it's nutty. I'm pretty sure on harder difficulties, this character will have more issues. Uh, but I I thoroughly enjoy what I've ex I've seen so far. That was a long run, though. Wow. <laughs>